All right, so let's move right along and now ask the question, what if LU factorization fails? Now, what do we mean by that? Well, here's a simple example. We're given a matrix A, and if we execute the algorithm on the left, which is the algorithm for Gaussian elimination, but we've seen is also this algorithm for LU factorization, overwriting A with a strictly lower triangular matrix L and an upper triangular matrix U. Then notice that in the very, very first step, this entry right here is this entry right there. And therefore, this division here fails. Now, the question is, is this simply because if that is the matrix that appears in a linear system, then the, there is a problem with that linear system? Or is the problem with the algorithm? Well, let's have a look at that. If we place this matrix into a linear system, so now we are looking at AX is equal to B, then what do we notice? Well, if you multiply this out, this simply, this gives you the vector chi1, chi0. And if you now transform that into a linear system, what we find is that chi1 is equal to beta 0 and that chi 0 is equal to beta 1. And that's given right here. So it is not that there's a problem with the matrix or the linear system that might use that matrix. The fundamental problem seems to be with the algorithm. Is the problem simply that we encountered a 0 on the very first step? Well, here we have a 3 by 3 matrix. Let's see what happens when we execute the algorithm. We start like that. We expose. And at this point, we need to divide by 2. And that's OK. So we move ahead. And we go back to the top of the loop. And we expose again. And now what we notice is that our alpha 0, 0, with which we want to divide, is a 0. And we've got a problem. Again, the question is, is the problem with the system of linear equations? So there's a homework that asks you to solve this particular linear system. So why don't you take a minute and go and do that homework, and then come back and let's talk about this some more.